My name is Indra Neville, I'm Principal Advisor for Services to Schools National Library um, and today I'm going to be talking about Crook Cook and some activities you might undertake as part of the research part of exploring or answering the fertile question, what does the red mean? You could explore the colour red, so if I had juniors I would take my class on a red hunt um, around the school looking for uh, red traffic lights, perhaps the red sticker on the medicine cupboard, um, red pens as they're used in other people's books and then having a discussion around what does red mean in all of these contexts. Um, if I had students who are a little bit older I might do some exploration of colour related language and its meaning so what does it mean to be red faced, what does it mean to be yellow bellied, when are you green with envy, when are you feeling blue and perhaps could make some artworks that illustrate uh, these kinds of colours and feelings. If I had senior students, I would probably explore the history of artist, uh, artists appropriating other artists' work. So artworks like Crook Cook, but Duchamp's L-H-O-O-Q and the Gorilla Girls Do Women Have to Be Naked to Get into the Met Museum. Get into some stuff like what was the intention of the original artwork, how has it changed with the appropriation, discussions of effectiveness, authorship, humour, dominant discourses, the notion of a canon, feelings and agreement or not by the learners with the appropriation. Who owns artworks, who owns ideas, how do ideas impact different viewers and communities. Then I'd probably get my students to create their own appropriated artworks, undermining or changing the message of the original artist, remixing an old master for example.